branches. <laughs> what? Dad, <laughs> get away! Dad, <laughs> that's a dream. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of treacherous. Treachers. <laughs> yeah, I kind of expected of that I wouldn't Iron. actually get the chance we'll to tell her. The map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And uh, why? Oh, it's a lady wearing headphones. <laughs> the poster. Dude, that was hilarious. Hilarious. We were so. So ridiculous. We still are, Max. <laughs> we still are. Okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. So right now, Chloe is very much like Rachel. You meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This is adorable. Sketch mom. Keep out mom. Okay. Well, wow, that's actually really good. I couldn't even do that. Cannons. Treasure keep. The bane of Arcadia. That's funny. Pogo the pirate is the cat. <laughs> pirate rules. No bathing. No boys on the ship. No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to bathe these rules result in plank walking. Captain's log. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas are just... Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all the pirates, has threatened to toke or take the map from us if she sees it. And surely, if she sees it, surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep them keep keep the map hidden as something as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure the map is only readable to us, Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. More plunder. Two more plunder miniatures. I actually really love the little pirate skull here. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this Oops. map. <sighs> Chloe and I were doing a Oops, lot of Oops, I skipped what she was going to say. Class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Social studies. Now please try to pay attention in class instead of drawing pictures with Maxine. <laughs> Alright, let's observe. People say a lot of things about the Oh, generous donation from the Prescott family. Got this it. is pretty cool. I remember writing this. It's a story where you choose what yeah, happens. Yeah, kind of like the game. Wonder if I could still get to the end. Max and Chloe's sewer adventure. You're Max and Chloe, the best friends and students in school. 
We sit in class until suddenly a cute squirrel arrives at the window. It's so cute. Do you want to pet it? Pet the squirrel, page eight. Don't pet the squirrel, page three. All right. I'm going to actually play it like I'm reading the book. All right. Are we going to pet the squirrel? Should I play as them? Pet the squirrel, page eight. There we go. <sighs> yep, I kind of figured he was gonna bite me. The end, nice. You go to the window and pet the squirrel. Of course, why wouldn't you? It's a cute squirrel and you want to pet it. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, you say. Ah, stop biting me, you say next because the squirrel is now biting your hand. But it's too late, you have rabies. Mrs. Andres has to shoot you so you don't get, so you don't bite anyone else. This makes her very sad. Guess you shouldn't have pet the squirrel. All right. Page one. Go to page three. Why don't you like squirrels? They're so cute and nice. You must be very mean. The squirrel seems annoyed that you, you ignored her. She runs in and steals the back book report right off your desk, then runs back outside. That squirrel stole my book report, you tell the teacher. Uh-huh, whatever you say. This is Andre's response. It's clearly not believing you. What do you do? Chase the squirrel, page four. Excuse me. As soon as Mrs. Andres turns around, you run out of the window and chase the squirrel. That is a very bad thing to do, and you hope you don't get in trouble later. But you probably will. Outside, you look around, but you can't find the squirrel. Is she gone? Oh, there she is. She's standing next to the sewer hole. You run up to her, but she gets scared and jumps down. Oh, boy. Do you really think you really want to go down there? Uh, Find another way. Page six. I don't believe you. That sewer hole looks pretty scary. But is there but is there any other way down suddenly a light bulb appears above your head you use it to light the way back to your house and into your bathroom you step one foot into the toilet and flush whoosh next thing you know you're in the sewer on the ground you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left and a trail of chewed up paper to the right which do you do uh right page seven Oh, goodness. Smart choice. You go to the right, following the path of the chewed papers. After a bit of walking, you end up in a dark corner. Suddenly, the floors fall away. You find yourself swimming in some sort of warm liquid. Almost like a big puddle, except... Why does, does this liquid taste like acorns? Why are you drinking liquid in a sewer? That sounds disgusting. A bright light comes on. Turns out you're not in a puddle. You're in a big bowl of acorn soup, and all around you are squirrels holding... Spoons and wearing tiny little aprons. They look so cute, and the soup keeps getting hotter. Guess you weren't too smart after all. At least you'll be delicious. <laughs> okay. To, uh, page nine. You picked right. I mean left. Which was right. It's confusing. In the distance, you see the squirrel, but he is not moving. In fact, he's dead. Who would kill a poor squirrel? Suddenly, the ground begins to shake. Around the corner, a giant rat appears. It's the biggest rat you've ever seen. The biggest anything you've ever seen. It's the Rat King. Rat King is wearing a crown and standing on a throne of all your missing homework, including your book report. What do you do? Uh, run away. Page five. You run away like a scaredy cat. I don't blame you. That thing is gross. As you run, you almost trip on a small, shiny object. You pick it up. It's a lighter. Your mom never lets you play with these, but she's not here right now, is she? Now's your chance to kill the Rat King and protect all the students' homework once and for all. This is your chance to be a hero. Do you do it? Just kidding, you don't get a ch choice. You may get to choose some things, but I'm not gonna, uh, but I'm still the author here. You have to attack the Rat King, but how do you want to attack him? Ha ha ha. I'm gonna burn his throne, 13. You decide to burn the Rat King's throne. It hurts you to burn all of the amazing homework, including your wonderful book report, but you remember that it's for a good reason. As soon as the throne catches fire the rat king begins to scream no my throne suddenly the rat king begins to shrink before long he is back to the size of a normal rat he can't even climb out of his huge crown Aw, he's so cute now <laughs> you run back to the class and tell miss andre or andre andres all about the rat king and everything that happened not only does she forgive you for not having your book report but she declares that you are the greatest hero in the school duh the end <laughs> All right, this is so inventive, Maxine and Chloe 
But next time, please do the book report you were assigned. That's funny. All right, so if I attack the rat, your dad always tells you to run toward your problems and away from them. Not away from them. Unfortunately, you picked a really bad time to start listening to him. You run right towards the Rat King. At first, he seems surprised. You try to punch him in his face, but you forget about the long, hairy, gross tail. He wraps you up like a boa constrictor and drops you in his mouth, swallowing you without, with one gulp. Now you get to see what the inside of a rat looks like. This would make you a great science report. Too bad you won't be alive to tell anyone. Okay, I think that was the one I just attacked him without fire. Okay, yeah, this is the one you burn his tail. You decide to burn his gross, long, hairy tail. Good plan. Whoosh! The Rat King's tail is on fire. He does not... I like that one bit. He starts freaking out, having his tail, er, waving his tail around like crazy. You know all the trash and dirty diapers in the sewer? These are highly flammable, which means the same as flammable for some reason. Oh, highly inflammable. <laughs> Suddenly, the entire sewer catches on fire. You're surrounded by gross sewer flames. Is this really how you die burning to this with the Rat King in a d disgusting sewer? Yes, it is. All right, this is decide not to chase a squirrel. When the time you decide not to chase a squirrel, when the time comes to present your book report, you tell Miss Andres that a squirrel stole it and ran away. She doesn't believe you. Remember, I told you she doesn't believe you. Why didn't you listen? You should pay more attention. Anyway, Miss Andres reports you to the principal, and soon you're kicked out of school for being a bad student. Without school, you can't ever get a job or make money. Now you live in a shack without TV and do drugs. Soon you will be dead. Guess you should have paid attention. <sighs> Alright, that was the picked right. That was you got bit. That was you get cooked. This is the light. Run away. Follow the squirrel. I right, okay. You are very stupid and brave. You leap down into the sewer. Thankful there's a pile of trash, banana peels, and dirty diapers to land on. Phew! You hear a squirrel sound in the distance, so you run to follow it. There are many twists and turns. Eventually you come back and forth. Eventually, you come to a fork in the road, but now not the time for eating. So you put the fork <laughs> back down and consider the two paths in front of you. That's funny. On the... On the nine round? Why can't I see that? On the ground. Jeez, I'm an idiot. On the ground, you see a trail of tiny footprints to the left and a trail chewed up paper to the right. Hey. Nice. They uh, had two ways to get to it. I like the getting flushed though. That was that was clever. Oh, yes. Take, Take that, that rat king. king. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna mirrorize myself. Oh. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Sure, I'll pose with Chloe. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Yeah, we got his picture. All right, textbook. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Is it gonna fall out? Aha! I found it! Bingo. Alright. Oh, there's our photo we just took. Okay. So. Chloe's secret lair. We walk to the dark cavern. Amulet, Treasure Island, Price Castle. So it's next to the Dark Cavern. Is that what I'm supposed to get from this? I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic. Ugh. Uh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Still scary. I'm gonna wonder if it's still there. You think it's still there? Should be. As long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and 
Once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. Ooh. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Oh, yes, that's cute. The pirate ship. Captain Blue yes, the pirate ship. Long Max Silver right again, bitches! You can't say I'll that. You're like 12. I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have Holy crap. Pirate adventure. Guys. I don't know why, but holy crap, okay. I'm like falling asleep. Holy said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Okay, so we're not going to go there yet. Toolbox. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. That's cute. Well, I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. There's the blue hair dye. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. Really should not go into the parents' bedroom. It's always a thing growing awesome up. Don't Chloe's go into the parents' bedroom. Wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. Oh, I wish she did become a teacher. It's awesome. Crap. That Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. Most strikes? <laughs> How can that mm. be so cool and so dorky at the same time? Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Chloe is such a nature. Oops. I bet she's gonna love it. Oh, they're going to the Grand Canyon. That's cute. Nicotine gun, so he's trying Chloe's to stop mom smoking. Is trying to quit smoking. Cool. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe that did act a little strange when I asked really her about school earlier. The principal check it out. at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. I would like to begin by saying we're thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured, her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this time. However, it seems that she's having trouble transitioning into the new, more challenging environment. I'm emailing, I'm emailing to set up a time to talk about the incident that occurred last week. I'm very concerned about Chloe's behavior and would like to work with you. Take steps to correct it as soon as possible. I'm sure you are dedicated to Chloe's success here as we are. Alright, so that's from the principal. I bet you money. Oh, oh, yeah. I need to stop. I bet you money. Chloe knows that I'm moving and she's already acting out. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Ray, Chloe was not the only student to act out that day, and if you ask me, Marissa Rogers isn't the victim. She's the bully. Maybe both sides of the story were heard before placing blame. Your score will be a less challenging environment for your students. Focus on your school. I'll focus on my daughter. Yeah, Dad! A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Voicemail for you. These types of people are exactly why I don't want Chloe at Blackwell. We'll figure this out. Love you, too. I forgot to tell you, Miss Rogers... Er, I forgot to tell you, Miss Rogers called while we were out yesterday and left a message. It's still on the answer machine, but please be ke careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to overhear. We need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship isn't in danger, but I still worry. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Finally, used your pressure washer today, and I just wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Works like a charm. It's not our... It's not our dream house, but now I can at least be the, it can at least be the right color. If you want to come over next weekend and give me a hand, there'll be cold beer in it for you. Give me a call. Hope everything at work is still going well. And tell Linda to say hello. Aw, Chloe's parents are so cute. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. Look 
Look at that. So sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her.